Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3. I'm back with another video, and today I want to talk about the cornerback position and why I think the Bills have one of the deepest cornerback positions in the NFL. Brandon Bean has done a lot to add some depth to this roster, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, top guy, obviously, everybody's choice for the number one corner on the Bills, that's Tredavious White. First round draft pick. 2017 had an extremely stout rookie season last year he tailed off a little bit but still wasn't getting beat over top consistently and wasn't getting beat underneath consistently wasn't putting up the numbers on pff that he put up in 2017 but still had an extremely good season so tredavious white might be playing for something for a future contract might be playing to have a little bit of a chip on his shoulder going into the 2019 season everybody's talking about how he's not a top 10 corner in the league he sees all that stuff he feeds off all that stuff so look for him to have a bounce back season this year so number two guy someone who came out of nowhere and surprised us all levi wallace undrafted free agent didn't even make the 53 going into the regular season last year worked his way up from the practice squad second half of the season was arguably the bill's best cornerback ranked fifth by pff in the nfl for cornerbacks last season for the entire season so look for him to try to continue that upward trend and try to prove that he wasn't a one-hit wonder and that he deserves to be a number two cornerback on this team nickel spot teron johnson i think teron johnson is a highly underrated tackler he's a highly underrated cornerback highly underrated pass protector and the poor guy played most of his season last year with an injured shoulder shoulder looks to be in good repair he's looking to prove something just like levi wallace is i think that he's going to be our nickel corner going forward now that leaves me with a couple guys that i'm kind of on the fence about so kevin johnson was the first player that we signed in free agency comes over from the houston texans former first round draft pick has some injury concerns but solid depth player because remember, you're only one injury away from having your second tier guys starting for you in the NFL. So solid depth addition. Brandon Bean then went out and signed EJ Gaines. As everybody knows, EJ Gaines, really big part of this secondary in 2017, played really well in Sean McDermott's system, suffered an injury, ultimately ended his season in 2017, ultimately got injured again last year with the Cleveland Browns, signed with the Bills. Not really sure why he didn't re-sign with the Bills last year, but ended up signing with the Bills this year. Either way, he's on the team now. So the top five guys, I know there's others, but the top five guys are the ones that I wanted to mention because they're going to be the ones fighting for all the playing time. Number one, Tredavious White. Obviously, he is our best cornerback. Number two, Levi Wallace, who I think is going to have an extremely good year. He has something to prove wants to you know hey i'm undrafted you know what fine i'm gonna make your roster and i'm gonna shut everything down teron johnson is gonna be that nickel guy and the guy's a thumper for a little guy he lays the wood he does he really hits hard uh number four kevin johnson and number five ej Gaines. not sure if ej Gaines is going to push levi wallace for that number two spot but competition makes all the cream rise to the top I'm really curious what you guys think. I, I'm looking forward to camp because there's going to be a lot more competition this year than we had last year. Last year we didn't have the salary cap money, so we, we couldn't go out and get the EJ gains because I think he went to Cleveland ultimately for a better deal. You know, look for Tredavious White to have a bounce back season. Not that he was bad last year, but look for him to have a bounce back season because he's ultimately going to be playing for a fifth year option for next year. I know it's going to be, this is his third year, next year is his fourth year, but ultimately between the third and fourth years is when they are considered for the fifth year option. So he's ultimately playing for a contract. Now, there's been all that talk out there that he doesn't post any Bills pictures on social media and he's all about LSU. You know what? He's just proud of the college that he went to. So that's no big deal to me. Levi Wallace, that guy is someone, someone to keep an eye on. Fifth, fifth, fifth ranked, fifth fifth ranked cornerback and pff and he was undrafted he was on the bills practice squad and nobody nabbed him so keep an eye on him we have a lot to look forward going into camp 
just like every other position, we have competition everywhere. These guys are going to push each other to the limits, and it's going to be great to watch. I'm going to do a video on the secondary. That's coming up soon, so that's why I only wanted to mention the cornerbacks. Tell me what you guys think. Do the Bills have a top five, top three, top ten secondary in the NFL? Are we up there with the likes of the Rams and the Patriots and the Jaguars? Are we better than them? Let me know in the comment section. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Um, drop comments in there. I, I respond to all of them. If you're watching on Facebook, please share this video. Again, drop comments because I'll respond to all of them. I'm DM3, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. No, I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask.